Hey guys, Tixar here with a brand new video. Here again on GTA 5 on PC. Um, with number 3 of car... Car park... Car meet... Festival... Car show thing? I don't know. I'll think of a name for it. I'll say car meet. Whatever. So... I've added more cars to the game. Let's start, ignore the textures. They're, always, they're playing up because of the, the cars. Um... So first off, over here, we have the Porsche Cayenne Turbo S, I believe. Yeah, Turbo S. That's that's quite a nice car. I do like that. That's quite nice. Um, and then behind that is the Range Rover Evoque. That's a car I like, sort of. It's quite nice. Um, over, in the, over here, we have the Pagani Zonda Triclore. So one of the limited edition Zondas. Oh, nice, nice car. Can't, you can't do much to GTA and GTA. Beside that, for 458 Italia Speciale. That's quite a nice car as well. Beside that, a car that I'm going to love driving in Forza Horizon 3 in September is the Koenigsegg Regera. Am I missing a car, actually? No, I'm not. It's fine. Uh, next to that is the Chevrolet Corvette Z06. I've just, if you remember, I did have a um, a replacement car for that. Now it's an add-on car, so that's good. Beside that is the Dodge Charger Hellcat. Excuse me a second. Um, that's quite a nice car as well. Then beside that is the Dodge Char uh, Charger Challenger Challenger Hellcat. Behind behind the Challenger is the Camaro, Chevy Camaro, the SS. This year's a 2016 model. That's that's quite nice. Beside that, a classic, sort of a classic. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Uh, the McLaren F1. Sounds. Mm, it doesn't sound right in the game, but uh, it's a good car to drive. Next to that is the cool, but. Nippy, I don't know, is Nippy, I haven't really driven it much, but I'll do a video, maybe do a video on it. It's the Lotus Evora GTE, I believe. I don't know, I think so. Next to that is the Zenvo ST1. That's quite a crazy, crazy car. It's crazy styling compared to other, other cars. Next to that is the Shelby Mustang GT500. And then next to that is the Shelby Mustang same car, but with see it looks wider. So I'm guess oh, not. I'm guessing this is from the Need for Speed movie. So yeah, and across textures are bugged over there, but whatever. Next to that is the Konstek CCX in police livery from Seacrest County from I think Need for Speed game. I could be wrong. Yeah, this was there's that. Um, next to that is the Aston Martin 177. Um, pretty cool car. I've got a Hot Wheels car of that, so that's, that's quite cool to have. Next to that is the Porsche 911 Turbo Cabrio. Porsche 911 Turbo S Cabrio. That's what I meant to say. That is buggy, Jesus. Uh, next to that is an amazing car, the Maserati MC12. Wow, it drives good. It really, really drives good. Next to that is an absolute monster of a car. I will definitely do a video on that. You'll see me doing a video on that. It's the Pagani Zonda BC. Ignore that. Um, next to that is a car I've been wanting to add on as an add-on car. And had troubles with it. Is the McLaren P1. What a car. Wow. Uh, next to that, the Lamborghini of Reventon. Uh, one sec. Next to that, another classic. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ferrari F40. Wow. That's a nice car. <clears throat> Excuse me again. I like, I like driving that. I'll probably do another video on that as well. Next to that is the Ferrari 458. Italia, that's quite a cool car as well. 
That's that was. This is one of the first car mods, I believe. As a replacement car. Facebook, go away. Next to that is the Bentley Continental GT. Um, pff, that's all I know, really. Um, let's go over here a second. The next little car over here, the GTA Spano. I personally think this should be a car that I should dash out of GTA. Not GTA, no. Forza, Forza Horizon 3, or Forza game in general. Behind that is the 2005 Ford GT. That's quite a cool car to drive. The differences, though, between that and the the 2017 model, it's quite different. Next, over here, next to the Bentley Continental, is the Aston Martin DB9 Volante. That's quite a nice car as well. I I like that car a lot. Next to that is the Rolls Royce Dawn with the crazy door. Look, I'll show you. Look, get out the car. It's got that. It's got yeah. It's got that that, that door to it. Next to that is the Bentley Continental Flying Spur. Next to the Bentley Continental is the Jaguar XJ. That's a nice car as well. It's better in person, of course. Next to that, the textures are a bit buggy because of textures in the game. Having a lot of cars with high poly, poly texture things, what they're called. So Lamborghini Gallardo LP574 Superleggera. I can't wait to drive it in Forge Horizon 3. I'm definitely going to do a video with that car as well. Next to that is the Rolls Royce Ghost. Next to that, EK, if you're watching this, I'll start in the link to this video as well. I've got an Eagle Speedster in the game. If you want to help with it, let me know. Message me on Twitter or something, and I'll help you with install the install into the game. Because I know how much you love this car. So, yeah, if you see this, go ahead. I'll just, yeah. Next to that, that that's definitely a nice car to drive. I'm definitely going to, yeah. Sure. Next to that is the MX-5, the new model. Is that 2016 model or 2015? Not sure, but hey. Next to that is the BMW M5. That's a nice car as well. And I might quickly despawn all the cars. And spawn in one of the cars to take a drive. Or just take a drive with one anyway. Um... Let's go in the Corvette, because why not? So I'll take the Corvette. Whoa! Drift too much. So, yep, yeah, the Corvette, I love this car. I've seen so many. I saw a few in California. When I was there on holiday. It's, well, it's a white one, actually, didn't I? Yeah. It's a pretty phenomenal car, to be honest. Oh, I love this car. Anyway, yeah, so I'm going to take a quick drive. Ah, oh, so textury. What the hell? Textures are buggered. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to end this. I'm going to end this video here. And you'll see me in a few seconds when I I'm back in the normal game, so